when you're troubleshooting workstations or trying to determine what type of service might be running on a particular server or a particular workstation, then you'll want to look at the Netstat command. Netstat stands for Network Statistics, and the Netstat command is one you'll find in many different operating systems. Sometimes the command line options that are available to you differ a little bit between operating system versions, so make sure you look at the manual or the online help as you're working with Netstat to make sure you're using the right parameters. We're going to use some in Windows today. One that we'll use is Netstat-A to look at all of the active connections that might be coming into a computer. There's another command, netstat-b. This one's really useful because it will tell you, if it can, what binaries are using these particular connections. So you'll be able to tell what type of executable on my machine is actually opening up and providing services on these particular ports. And another nice netstat command to use is one called netstat-in. Whenever you're using netstat, it tries to constantly do a DNS resolution of every IP address it happens to see. And when you're troubleshooting and you already know the names of these devices, that may not be useful to you. So by using the dash in option, you can turn off that name resolution, and you'll find the netstat process happens much faster. I'm on my Windows machine, and I'd like to use the netstat command to see what particular port numbers might be listening or might be using connections right now. So I'm going to do a netstat-a, and I'm also going to choose that in option so that it will not resolve the name of the device based on the IP. We'll just see IP addresses. And if I hit Enter, you'll see a lot of information just went by. Let's scroll up just a bit. This is separated into two sections as I scroll up the TCP section. If I scroll down a little bit more, there is a UDP section. So here are all of the different ports that might be in use right now on my computer. If we look at the very top of the TCP, you'll see there's port 135 and 445. So these are port numbers that you're probably accustomed to seeing because Windows uses these particular port numbers to communicate back and forth. Well, let's turn on a service, and let's see what the differences might be. I'm going to turn on FileZilla. This is an open source FTP server, and I'm now providing FTP services from my machine. So I should certainly see that a port for FTP has been enabled. So let's clear the screen and run exactly the same netstat-an command. And if we scroll back to the top of that list, you will see that indeed, up at TCP, we have a port 21 that has now appeared in the list for Netstat because now we have opened up port 21. This machine is listening for somebody to connect to the FTP server that I just turned on. If you're doing any type of security scans on your network, you might run across my machine that I've downloaded an open source FTP and I've installed an FTP server. And when you do your security scan, you'll see that this machine has port 21 open. And you may want to know what executable is running on this computer that would cause that particular port number to be open. Just because it's port 21 doesn't necessarily mean it's FTP. And we aren't even sure what FTP server might be running on this computer. So I would go to this machine. I would remote desktop into this device. I would find a way to get access to this computer. And I'd be able to run a netstat dash B, and I'm going to use the dash N again for no rename resolution, and hit Enter. And one of the things you'll notice is you'll see the port numbers that are in use. The 10.1.10.67 is my local machine with TCP port 21 that is open. That's the same port that we just saw in our dash A that we previously did. But notice because we did a dash B, the binary that caused that port to be open is listed. And indeed, FileZilla server.exe is the server that's open. Now, there is that management front end that I was showing you earlier with FileZilla. This management front end is one that communicates back and forth to the service. So you can see the server interface is also listed here, it's communicating locally. 127.0.0.1 is our local host, our loopback address. So that's all communicating locally. It's this 10.1.10.59 that's communicating into my computer via FTP. So I can see exactly who's connected to me right now. So we can see now, is this legitimate traffic, or is this something that I should turn off and manage through a different type of FTP service? This netstat command is going to provide you with a wealth of information on the machine. You'll be able to determine exactly what ports are open and who's connecting to that device.